Redditors who went to high school with a celebrity, what were they like before they were famous? I was a year behind Zach Galifianakis in elementary and high school. He seems like pretty much the exact same guy he was years ago down to earth. Super funny and a little goofy. He was also a boy scout. Went to high school with Drake. He put three separate dollars into a vending machine before he realized it was broken. At that point he was famous as the wheelchair guy from Degrassi. Taylor Lautner went to my high school. He was a year ahead. He was also a kinda weird kid. I remember him rolling around on the floor in his video production class. There was also that time the elephant bar was mobbed with paparazzi in town cause he went there with his NGF Taylor Swift. I also rented a library book with Ashley Teasdale's name in it. Good ole Santa Clarita. My dad went to the same high school as Steve Harvey and told me he couldn't believe it when he discovered he was famous because Steve hardly ever said anything and was the shy kid. Never met Taylor Swift in person but we had lots of friends in common. They all didn't like her cause she was really annoying and super odd. My dad went to high school with the voice of Patrick Starr. He was actually a really smart, popular, nice guy. He was also naturally goofy, as you might expect. Went to school with Lord Takapuna Grammar. She wasn't particularly cool or weird, but when we were 17 she hit on my friend at a party and he was like you're 14. Duck off. Her sister's a real itch though, apparently. My boyfriend's mother was Sandra Bullock's college roommate at ECU. She said that Sandy was very driven and serious about her work, which is probably why she is the accomplished actress she is today. Didn't go to school with him, but Eminem did a speech at my school when I about 14. I walked out of the auditorium halfway through to go hang out with my then girlfriend. After his speech, Eminem toured the school. My girlfriend and I saw him and jokingly called out his name, to which he heard us and came over to chat for a few minutes. Pretty cool reward for skipping class and hanging out in the halls. Very down to earth guy. Barely counts but when I was getting a tattoo a Bruno Mars song came on and my artist started laughing and said he went to elementary school with him. Apparently all he remembers any time he hears him is that he had his pants on a field trip and cried until he was picked up by his mom. Till everyone knows Taylor Swift. My older sister went to school with Brad Pitt. He asked her out once and she agreed to go, but the night before their date, her ex called and they made up and she cancelled the date with Brad. I always thought Katy Perry, then Katy Hudson, was kind of an idiot when we were in high school together, then she dropped out after about 6 months, got her ged, and made millions. Guess she was smarter than I thought. My mom went to high school in Michigan with Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell. She said they were always making movies and were both pretty big dorks but everybody loved them. She even showed me old pictures of them filming the school news in her ebooks. Went to the same high school as Ian Summerholder. Everyone said he was really chill and no one believed him when he said he had a modeling contract. I went to high school with AXL Rose and Izzy Stradlin from Guns N' Roses. Jeff, Izzy, was a good guy, liked to ride skateboard and BMX. He wrote something about six drugs and rock and roll in my yearbook. I didn't hang with Bill, AXL, so I have no info to share about him. Edit. Here are a few photos from one weekend in high school. Look in the back. The guy with brown hair and checkered shirt is Jeff Izzy. The blonde guy in the background is Paul Huge. I don't recall either of them playing guitar at this point in history. Edit. Moving this up because people keep asking for it. Here's the high school yearbook signature. It says. Hi my name is Jeff Isbell. I'm into six. Drugs. And rock just like everybody else. Here's my picture. My dad went to high school with John Stewart and had Teller from Penn and Teller as his Latin teacher. My dad was a senior when John Stewart was a freshman. So he doesn't know anything about him. But he loved having Teller as a teacher. Supposedly Penn and the other guy they started out with would come in to practice tricks. Also, he talked. My dad hated high school and skipped a lot of classes. But he really enjoyed his Latin classes. He passed that on to me. So really, Teller is responsible for my minor in classical language. Holy it. I never thought I'd get the chance to tell this story. 
I can't tell people in real life because they will never believe me. And I guess you will probably call me a liar too. But whatever. I went on a date with Taylor Swift before she got super famous. It was right out of high school. When she was making a name for herself. But not yet a gigantic deal. I knew her because we lived near each other. It was the craziest thing. Really. I only asked her out on a dare because even not famous. She was way out of my league. But it turns out she was really nice and enjoyed the opportunity to go hang out for a while. She always had a reputation as a girl who burns the candle at both ends. And she's always stressed. So I think she just wanted to relax. It was a pretty basic just out of high school date. We went to see a movie and I got to feel like a jackass rolling up to her super nice house in my pose Datsun honeybee. Don't let her early work fool you. She's a rich kid. Anyway. Onto the crap you guys are actually wanting to hear about. So. After the movie and some dinner. We go back to my place to listen to some music. After a while. She pretends to be interested in checking out the hiking trails out behind my house. She said she really enjoys being out in the woods. But I figured she just wanted to be away from my parents. So we get out into the woods and very quickly get into some heavy making out. Clothes go everywhere. And that's when this story starts to take its turn. Gentlemen. I have some things to tell you about Taylor Swift. First thing. Turns out she loves giving head. Pretty much the most enthusiastic beach of my life happened on that trail. She couldn't get enough. However. She's terrible at it. She's got heart. But I hope for all future guys sakes that she took some lessons. She's all teeth. And she's got that thing where her tongue is just ridiculously rough. After a while of that. We get down to the main event. Another thing you should know about her is that she is somewhat hairier than one might expect from a super hot rich girl. I never got to ask her what was up with that. Actually. So anyway. We're getting our awkward teenage bone on. And she's just as crazy as she was before. Except this time she's just straight up clawing my back to shreds. I'm not going to pretend I didn't make it where I needed to go. But goddamn. I was expecting some kind of revelation from her. It was one of those things where it is so disappointing because you had expected so much from it. So. After it was all said and done. We're putting our clothes back on. When I notice that I'm actually bleeding from my back. I had known she had her heart in it. But I didn't expect for her to draw blood. But then I realized her nails were longer and sharper than I had noticed before. And that's when I started to put it all together. She clawed my back. A BJ was all teeth. She likes being in the woods. She went on a date with a guy driving a Datsun honeybee. Guys. Taylor Swift is a Mathurda King bear. I must have shown on my face when I put it all together. Because she got a glint in her beady black eyes and roared. I didn't even bother putting my clothes back on. I just ran for dear life. Luckily, I knew the woods behind my house better than she did. Even more luckily, I was able to squeeze through some spots that her 1000 pounds frame just couldn't get. Winter was coming soon. I knew if she caught me I'd be killed and stuffed into the cave she cleverly disguised as an expansive suburban home so that she could keep her energy up before hibernation began. I eventually wound up hiding in a stump by a stream until she gave up and left. It was the most frightening thing to ever happen to me in my life. I went to school with Margot Robbie. She was in her final year when I started high school. She was one of the mentors that I had in the first year of high school. And she seemed like a pretty normal person. Very kind. I think she already had a little bit of fame at this point but I was none the wiser to it. I went to school with Dave. From Dave's Tire and Auto. He's the one on the commercial about 4am on the public access. Yeah that guy changed man. He used to be cool. My dad went to high school with Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Anytime we see him in anything he always says that guy is such a doucher bag. My grandpa used to work on the set of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and knew Will Smith personally. He introduced my parents to him and the three of them remain friends until this day. Scott Disick was a douche. Still is a douche from what I see on TMZ. My TA went to high school with Taylor Swift. She said she was a mean girl. Went to high school with John Larjoy from the league. Had drama class with him senior year but otherwise didn't know him. In drama, he was quite reserved and began the year like a tenderfoot. Within a few months, 
you could tell that he had a propensity and love for acting. He progressed quickly and his final monologue was surprisingly natural and emotional. Didn't know that he was good for comedy back then but he did always have good timing. Prob. Should have done some drama work with him that year. Went to school with, and performed with, Megan Trainer. She was always super nice and genuine and friendly to everyone. Went to college with Ray My Molek. He is now the lead of MR Robot, and Killing It's in Hollywood. We text occasionally but that is it. Haven't stayed close since college. He didn't go to my high school but I grew up really close to Justin Bieber and I had friends that were close to him. One of them was actually in his movie. The Biebs brought him down to LA for a vacation. Don't really know much about how he used to be. But everyone used to make fun of him for the videos he used to put on YouTube singing. Then they all miraculously wanted to be besties after he got discovered. My dad went to the same high school as Ron Jeremy. Some say he even left his secrets on how to get a bigger D in three simple steps on the bathroom doors. Was friends with pornster Megan Rain in middle school and high school. We had played together in 7th or 8th grade and we would walk whenever we had to run a mile. She walked cause she was a stereotypical pretty girl who never ran. And I was fat. So we made friends. She moved schools in high school and I still saw her from time to time around town. Last I saw her was when I ran into her downtown a couple weeks before I found out she did porn. My aunt and her friends went to school with John Meyer. One of her friends used to bully Meyer all the time. Now he's an alcoholic and hates his life. My mom went to high school with Prince, one year below him, and said he was a pretty chill guy. I know it says high school but I went to college with Jason Derulia, was a really nice guy, watched him play seaweed in hairspray his last semester. I went to high school with Linkin Park and Smash Mouth and both of them wrote different music when I used to know them but I smoked once or twice with them. Martin Garrix went to the same high school I went to. TBH is a really chill and nice dude. Co-worker went to high school with Paul E.D. from Jersey Shore. Said nothing about him stood out. Just a typical and almost stereotypical Guido. Went to high school with Willie Nelson's sons and Woody Harrelson's daughter. Willie's sons were awesome. Ultra talented. Down to earth guys. Baker was more hippie-ish than Lucas. But they were both very humble. Woody Harrelson's daughter was a smockish ow and I later found out long after HS that she had a crush on me. FML. She was also really cool. Not spoiled at all. And someone you could actually shoot the it with. His daughter looks a lot more like his wife than him. One of my best friend's dads owned a big construction company and he built their houses so they would all play poker at our house sometimes. Crazy times man. High school was pretty damn enjoyable to say the least. My sister's best friend's mom went to high school with Tom Cruise in NJ. She said he was dirt poor, weird and lied a lot. In her words short little chubby thing would follow me around she said his teeth were all ducked up and when he said he was taking acting classes everyone thought he was bulleting because he lied all the time. She said if I knew he was going to be famous, I would have been nicer pause now he was weirdo then and a weirdo now. Grew up in the city in between the cities where Chris Pratt and Anna Faris grew up. My older brother knew Anna through other friends. And Chris used to sell me cheeseburgers when I'd go to the car show in the parking lot of King Charlie's where he worked. To my knowledge they didn't know each other yet. Miranda Kerr. Typical popular pretty girl. Who tried hard and had everyone fawn over her. Basically the perfect poster child and good girl who did whatever she was asked. I mean that with no disrespect intended. Her parents on the other hand are attention seekers and I have no respect for them. They moved the family across the country for her career when she was still quite young. Without much care factor for her childhood. Even less care factor for her younger brother who has struggled a lot in life living in her shadow. She was doing magazine shoots at 14. And being heavily made up and posed in skimpy outfits. There was quite a bit of uproar locally with people asking the question of whether it borderline on pedo stuff. Because she was just so young but they were making her up to be so much older. Because she was so tall and skinny with such big eyes and lips. It seemed they were asexualizing a girl who wasn't even in the area of the legal age of consent. And it always seemed off that a parent would allow that. 
in a hoe. The parents basically made it all about her and they pinned everything on her gaining success at whatever cost. The parents were quite controlling and only gave the brother half glances in life. I believe Miranda tried to distance herself from them for a while. And not long ago they were doing interviews to the media saying they hadn't seen her in years and she wouldn't speak to them and didn't know why. Again manipulative attention seeking trash. I have nothing good to say about her parents. At all. My aunt went to high school with Barack Obama in Hawaii. She said he was a really friendly guy and was very smart and courteous. My girlfriend went to high school with Cal Penn. She says he was a super nice guy who was voted most likely best in about 5 different categories on top of being class president. He went on a road trip with my girlfriend's sister to visit Stanford too. She says they were all so proud when he got his first role. Kelly Clarkson. One time she got all the way to school before realizing she wasn't wearing shoes and had to go back home. Went to high school with Mike Will made it. Sat next to him in geometry my freshman year. His sophomore. He was pretty quiet for the most part. Okay with the schoolwork as far as I remember. Even the people he talked to didn't seem to know all that much about him and kinda teased him for how quiet he always was. Started hearing whispers of him hanging with Gucci by my junior year, 2006, and then he blew up like 4-5 years later. I went to high school with a girl whose dad was Jeffrey Dahmer's roommate in college. Went to high school with Jeremy Lin. He was nice, didn't cause trouble, and seemed happy being focused on basketball. My high school Spanish teacher took an English class at UCLA with James Franco as the professor. She facetimed him during class one day and it was the coolest thing ever. Apparently he's super smart and really down to earth. Went to HS with an NFL all-star. He had to be one of the dumbest people I've ever met in my life. I remember one time I ran into him at a local arcade and I noticed that he kept his spare quarters in his mouth. It was revolting. When he needed another quarter he'd just spit it out into his hand and put it into the machine. Had a couple of other non-famous pro athletes at my HS too. But they were pretty cool and relatively normal, if arrogant. Went to high school with PK. Subban. He was in his last year and I was a first year still making friends. I met this one girl who seemed nice enough but a little strange. Well turned out she was only attracted to black men. And being a small town. There were only a few black guys at our school. She set her sights on PK and followed him around like a lost puppy. It was very embarrassing, but he always let her down easy and was very kind. At this point I was starting to think this girl was a little obsessive and started dialing back our friendship. Last straw was after several times of being let down easy by PK and still obsessing over him. She bought him a puppy for Valentine's Day. Nicki Minaj was two years ahead of me in high school. We weren't close at all. She went by cookie back then. She was much darker skinned and had a bigger nose and no boobs or butt to speak of. She was very loud and attention seeking but nice to everybody. There's a porn star named Rachel Midori Midori whatever who I was kinda friends with in high school. She was pretty popular but very quiet. The nice girl you'd find in the library. Now she does weird butt stuff. It's always the quiet ones. Went to school with Gigi Hadid. She was the hottest girl there so I mean everyone knew she was going to be big. Not high school, but middle school. 6th grade. I sat across Tyler the creator for one semester. But he was in my class all year long he was always making stupid jokes. And of course inappropriate jokes here and there. He broke my pen and said I could just go buy another one lol. He was always chatty. Talking about his favorite hip hop artists, the Neptunes and NERD I believe, towards the last few days of school, our teacher brought a camcorder to record the class, and he wanted to do a rap battle with another classmate sitting in our group. The entire class roared with laughter and I wish I could remember why, but the opponent sat down afterwards. I didn't know he was Tyler the creator until a few years ago. Crazy that he's famous now, and his humor is still intact. My life is oddly intertwined with Miley Cyrus in a few ways. 1. She and her dad went to the church in my area and she was always well behaved and just like anyone else. She also didn't stay long, but was comfy enough with one person in my family to let him sit next to her in the pew. 
2. My elementary school music teacher. This 60 plus year old guy who was balding with a duck dynasty beard took his teenage daughter to try out and be an extra in the Hannah Montana movie. The casting people picked him instead of his daughter. He didn't even audition. My grandmother knew Elvis in high school. She was tanned like copper so he always called her Penny. Don't know much else. She died before I was born. I can try to get some more info from my mom. I wasn't there then. But I go to the same high school that Adam Driver did. My art teacher attended the school with him and said he was very quiet and reserved. Went to school and I'm still friends with Stevie from Malcolm in the Middle. He's a really down to earth guy loves all his friends. His birthday was actually yesterday, Sunday. I went to school with the great Kit Duncan. He grew up to work on Jaws 1 and 2. Someone I went to school with has very recently become an adult film star. I'm not sure if I'd even say star. He's just well known now in the area for doing porn. It's a bit weird. Not high school. But my brother went to preschool with Jacob Sartorius. They were kind of friends. And he had a huge 6th birthday party with a Spider-Man impersonator and a cotton candy machine. Don't really remember anything about him beyond that. He was supposed to attend the school we are both at, but is pretty much universally hated at this point. It is kinda funny to hear a bunch of seniors curse out a would-be freshman for being a stuck-up prick though. My uncle used to sit next to Nicole Kidman on the bus to school. He says she was the classic pale, freckly and shy ginger kid that really kept to herself. Strange how someone who is so shy and introverted becomes such an outgoing and charismatic adult. Puberty I guess. I went to school with Raven Simone. It was crazy. Every week something new was happening. Usually a humorous misunderstanding that led to some wacky antics. Just kidding. She was a couple of grades below me. I think I talked to her once and it was along the lines of the library is in the main hall. My dad went to school with Renee Zellweger. He hated how she would call our town a small town when she talked about it on TV. Complaining about how there was nothing to do. I remember him saying, he lived down the street from the movie theater. My brothers went to elementary school with Brandon Flowers. From the colors. They said he was a fun kid to hang out with. But they only went to school with him for a couple of years. Before Brandon moved to Vegas. My friend's mom went to high school with the pro wrestler George the Animal Steel. He was the guy who used to play an insane guy who would eat the turnbuckles. He asked her on a date and she went with him and said he was really nice but they both decided they just didn't quite hit it off. They remained friends, though. 